Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. Girls are down putting the horses out and feeding them breakfast. We'll go down a little bit later and do chores. Oh, actually, I see Sophie coming up. Today we are getting our house situated so that we can finish our shopping and preparation for being locked down. A lot of countries, a lot of you guys are locked down. We are not yet. I said in yesterday's video that um, Canada is a little behind the scenes still. We're not as far advanced in the whole virus situation as a lot of other countries so we're just still getting it to, to certain stages we are not locked down yet but we are preparing hi can you take that garbage bag out for me please i left gabby downstairs why did you leave the gabby down at the barn because she she was doing chores so i said i hope you know where i'm going now all right take that garbage bag out for me and let the dogs out i'm not suspicious i'm vlogging i just started the vlog suspicious. Suspicious of what? What do you think is going to happen? Surprise! You're getting a new horse? I already did that enough times. Are you getting a puppy? You're not getting a puppy. Oh yeah. I'll go. I'll get a puppy. So if you watched yesterday's video, then you might know that yesterday when we were out shopping when Gabby was at camp, we found this adorable... <sighs> what kind of dog is this again? We found this adorable border collie that Gabby has been dying for. Gabby wants a border collie puppy so bad. She wants one because our tax store has one named Holly and she fell in love with it. So we found this toy one and we bought it. So I hid it in my purse and I was like, I'll just give it to her on her birthday so I can say like, hey Gabby, we gave you a, a puppy for your birthday. I stuck it in my purse and then last night she lost her AirPods, so she went through my purse. Like who knew that was ever gonna happen? And all of a sudden she pulls it out and she's like, oh, what is this? And she was so excited. I wish I had gotten on film, but I couldn't because because I wasn't expecting it to happen. But yeah, she got a border collie for her birthday. And then last night when I tucked her into bed, I said, where's your puppy? And she said, it's right here beside me. And she had it on her bedside table. And then this morning when she got up, I said like, first thing you do is take your puppy outside and make sure it goes pee. If you are gonna have a border collie puppy, then you need to be responsible and take care of it. And so she brought it downstairs. Where's my, where's my puppy? You're not, none of us are getting a puppy. It's okay, I have cookie. Yeah, we got cookie. We got cookie. So um, I, I told the girls that we could do chores after, but Gabby likes to get them done first thing in the morning, so she stayed down. But it's her turn. We did them all week, right? No. So um, when Gabby gets back, we are going to, remember, we're still on spring break, meaning that it's a holiday. There's no school this week. And, so I'm gonna play and we're not locked down, although we're not allowed to go into any social, like there's nothing open to go to, but we are going to finish doing, we're not going to finish, we're going to do a little bit more shopping of the things that we need to keep us going when lockdown does happen. I suspect we're going to be locked down for a good two months, which is why we're bringing our horses home as soon as possible. Don't know when that's going to be, but we are working on the field. I'll show it all to Guys, you a little later. All the dogs love me. Yeah, they all love me too. Watch. Who do you think they love best? You or me? Come on. Come on. Cookie actually does love Sophie the best. Why do you think Finn loves you? Um, Because I am not rough with him and he loves me. I think you're kind to him. I think you show him that you love him and so that makes him love you. Yeah, I told him that I was sorry that I said that I hate him. Well, I didn't put that in the vlog. Oh, well you can cut it out. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to have to. <laughs> what happened to make you say that you hated him? Um... I tried to get on, the saddle slipped, which was my dad's fault, and um, he bucked. But he didn't actually buck, he just moved out of the way. He bucked. No, I have enough footage, Sophie, he didn't he buck. He did not buck. He bucked. You were on him, the saddle was <laughs> hanging off of him, he tried to get the saddle off. I'm like, not to my new saddle. Yeah, your saddle had a bad day yesterday. I know. Gabby, do you want to introduce them to your new puppy? What's her name? Molly. Her name is Molly, you guys. Were you excited to get her? Yeah. Were you surprised? Yeah. Come on, were you surprised when you opened my purse and all of a sudden there was your beloved dog? <laughs> yes, you were. No, I wasn't. See, that's the thing. You can never surprise Gabby because she always oh. pretends Ooh. like she wasn't surprised. I scared her once. Only once. once. How? I jumped and said, boo! Out of, I think, out of behind the door. A new spot for her. Every day I come outside and I'm like, it's gonna be warm! And then it's not, it's still cold. It is. It's not uh, that cold. What 
is it? I'm sweating too. Wait. Why isn't it gonna tell me? I don't know. It's cold. That's all I know. It is really cold. <laughs> anyway, we're headed in it to the, the dollar box? store. We're gonna do a Corona virus dollar store hack. Did you lock the door? Okay. Can go. I get the keys? Why I have you... to borrow my phone. Oh my goodness. Give me the keys. Mm -hmm. You're fine. It's four degrees. We need the heat. Four degrees above zero. And if the sun were out, it could be glorious, but because it's not, it is cold. Okay, before we leave. Before we leave, Gabby, have you taken care of your puppy? She's already taking her. She hasn't her. gone out to pee yet. She hasn't gone out to pee yet. It's half the She's day is gone. She's gonna pee on you. Yet. She's gonna pee on you. She's not real. <laughs> At least you brought her with you. She has her own little spot. She has her own little seat there, you guys. Lots of people still shopping, you guys, in Canada. This is the true definition of pocket puppy. Do you guys see? Show it. Do you guys see Gabby's puppy peeking out of her pocket? Guys, comment down below if your legs are so sore after you jump. Nobody's riding, so nobody's sore. Well, I mean, I did. Favorite dollar store. Sophie loves everything oh, to do with the dollar store. Oh, uh, poor Easter's gonna suck this year. Nobody can go anywhere. Okay, so I have such a fun idea for at home to help us with our eating and to get healthy. What color bucket do you want, Sophie? Green? Huh? What color bucket do you want? Blue? Blue. White? Pink? Blue. You're talking my way. You not green. Okay, what color? You want blue? Blue. I want blue. I'm getting blue. Oh, it's a two pack, so you're both getting blue. Everybody loves these. I think All right. my dog will love them too. Do you like them little, do you, do you tell them what her name is? Yes, we did. Her Molly, her little Molly. Do you want to get some treats for the... Oh, look at that! It's not what even a border collie. Oh. <laughs> border collie puppy. Border collie puppy. We're getting them. You know your puppy's not real, right? Yes, still, new people like them. Are you sure? I hear this noise. <laughs> I come down this aisle. And I swear it's Gabby and Sophie. My plan is to buy snacks. And obviously you can't buy very many healthy snacks at the dollar store. But I want to get like some essentials and have them because I know isolation is happening. These are kind of healthy though. They're green peas dehydrated and mangoes, dehydrated mangoes. That looks fun. And they have prunes. Okay, so this is what I actually wanted. I wanted to try some nuts, buy some nuts. Bear with me, I'm gonna show you when we get home exactly what I have in mind. Okay, you're not buying a lot of candy. No, no, no with the candy. Look over here. Look at, do you guys like, do you like almonds? What kind of nuts do you guys like? I'm thinking let's- Chocolate almonds. None. Chocolate I'm almonds. thinking let's get healthy snacks for when we're stuck inside. And I'm the girls are- this for my, with my money. And the girls are thinking, let's get all the candy we can get. I yeah, I came on back. I'm gonna show you guys what I'm gonna do here. Come I on, Gabby. Want. Okay, so I got these two buckets, and this is what I'm gonna do. I saw this on Facebook, and people have been posting saying like, my kids are home all day, now all they wanna do is eat. And that's like a struggle for us as homeschool kids, oh, I'll eat is this. that we wanna eat all day. I will eat this, fine. Yeah, so. I don't know what this is. No, 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 that, that, that's not how it works, Gabby. You don't get six treats. This is mine. No, this is not how it's supposed to this work. This is mine. This is the problem. Sophie, put it back up here. All right, so each one of you guys is gonna get a bucket. This and bucket. every day there's gonna be two treats, healthy treats and one junky treat. So every day, you'll, and then once your treats are gone for the day, then that's it. So you'll get to choose how often to eat. That's healthy. That's junky. That's healthy. That's, that's junky. Healthy. It's gonna be fruit That's and healthy. vegetables. It has it's cheese. It has healthy. cheese. It's crappy cheese. It's not this real cheese. It's junky. All right. That's healthy. All right. I'll go with that. But I'm gonna put like veggies and dip, and you know I'm fine with dog treats and fruit. Gabby's eating dog. So Gabby's eating. Gabby bought treats for her make-believe dog, and now she's eating them. They taste like turkey. And she checked; they're made in Canada. No, it says it on the thing. Yeah, so she's actually eating, look at. Oh, Macy loves them too. 
My Poor friend. Ruby. Can I get this one as my junkie food? So I'll put like no, a little bowl of. Ooh, thank you. You're not having the whole thing. That's, that's not how it works. Yeah, oh my god. Yeah, we love it. Go raspberries. You guys. You got blueberries. This is not how it works. <laughs> oh. No. Anyways, I'll show you later. I probably won't start it until tomorrow because the girls did buy treats at the store and so they're going to be eating that today so they're not going to need snacks. But yeah, we're going to have regular breakfast, lunch, and supper and then they're going to be able to eat whatever they want from their snack box. And once it's gone, then they're done their snacks for the day. And I'm hoping that that's going to teach them how to moderate their own eating because it's okay, guys. somebody does not do I that. Her and her dad. My belly doesn't get hungry. Well, that's good. I well, got hungry this morning so I didn't eat anything. Okay, so Sam's been working on the field. He's going to probably work on it all weekend, hopefully, so we can be ready. I'm hoping to have the horses back by next weekend. I'm still nervous about it. And there's still things I'm worrying about, like what if they open the outdoor arena, but then you still can't have lessons. But if we can have lessons, then I don't want to bring them home. Anyway, this is what he's been doing. I'm going to show you. So he changed all of our poles to stronger poles. So this is how big the fields are going to be, if I can show you. So see the poles in the middle there? This field is going to be all the way to here. So Sophie, go stand down there. So this is how big this field is going to be. It's huge still. Bigger than the field that they're in and there's no obstacles so they can run. Alright, so this is how far, this is how far from here, I put the camera on the pole. So that's how far and how big of a field each field is going to be. Only one is going to have a shelter. So this is the last field here. And they're all big, you guys. This is the gate. I'd love to like see the, well, I'll have to go up there. I'd love to make the pathway between this field and the barn, like put something else here, like make it nice instead of just hay. But another thing we changed is we put the ropes higher and they have to go really tight. I don't think Sam understands how to make, oh my God, I'm wrecking it. I don't think he knows how to make it tight. Like that's the problem. I don't like a flimsy, see you wrecked it too. I don't like a flimsy, I'll have to ask Fiona, but there's a, there's a way to make it tighter. There has to be. Fine. No, I don't, I'm, your dad is not good with ropes. But yeah, so this is one of the fields. The other thing I need to know is, so our, 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 our grass hasn't come through yet. Is it safe to put the horses out here and feed them hay? And then is that like a natural way to acclimatize them to eating grass? I think that that's true. I just don't know. Because it just comes up slowly, right? It's not all up, so... Why is but I don't know. In the car Tell me. The car's just sitting there. Tell me there's nobody in the car. Tell me if that's the way. Yeah, these fields are beautiful. I love them. I just need to get the ropes better. Gracie! We came to bring you lunch, but your field is full of hay. So I don't know why you're not eating that. She's like, get me lunch! Bye.
glorious. It's glorious being out here, being able to sit outside. Like I'm sitting outside in March. It hasn't happened for at least two years. It's amazing. I love watching Sophie play with the pony. Like ponies are where it's at, you guys. So many people said it was a waste of money. You shouldn't buy ponies. Ponies are where it's at. They're the most fun because you you can you can't ride them, but you can totally bond with them and you can play with them. This year is going to be Willow's year, especially if we can't get out for like the whole summer it's gonna be willow's year we're gonna get all the stuff we need so she can drive us places that we can't go <laughs> you always make me so hard.